in a small Gothic town nestled between ancient oaks and cobblestone streets. The winter air carried whispers of a yuletide curse that hung like a shadow over its quaint facade. As snowflakes twirled from the ashen sky, a sense of foreboding descended upon the townsfolk. For Christmas Eve held a tale far more chilling than the winter winds that crept through the narrow alleys. The central square, adorned with skeletal trees, stood as a skeletal echo of festivity. The church bell tower, draped in ivy, that seemed to strangle the very soul of the edifice, cast a sinister silhouette against the moonlit night. The townspeople, wrapped in cloaks that barely shielded them from the encroaching darkness, exchanged glances laden with dread. Among them was Edgar Montague, a melancholic soul whose hollow eyes betrayed the weight of some unspoken torment. Edgar's footsteps echoed through the deserted streets as he approached the forsaken church. Its doors groaned as he pushed them open, revealing an interior that mirrored the desolation outside. Edgar's gaze fixated on the altar where a single candle flickered, casting elongated shadows on the worn pews. His breath caught as he noticed an ancient tome lying open, its pages filled with cryptic symbols and arcane verses. The realization dawned upon him that the Yuletide curse had found its way into the sanctum of the church. In his solitude, Edgar sought solace in the forbidden verses, whispering incantations that danced on the precipice between desperation and madness. As the clock struck midnight, the church bells, ancient and tarnished, began to toll, an eerie symphony that resonated through the hallowed halls. Outside, the townsfolk gathered in hushed clusters, their eyes flickering with a blend of fear and morbid curiosity. The bell tolls intensified, each resonance carrying a weighty lamentation that seemed to seep into the marrow of the town itself. As the clock's final chime echoed, the atmosphere shifted, the winter wind grew colder, and the shadows that clung to the church walls seemed to writhe in agony. Unseen spirits stirred in the ethereal realm, and a ghastly mist enveloped the square, obscuring the spectral figures that lurked within. Edgar, gripped by a feverish compulsion, ascended the bell tower. Each step felt like a descent into madness, guided only by the haunting tolling that echoed through his skull. As he reached the belfry, a ghastly apparition materialized, a figure cloaked in tattered garments, its face obscured by a hood. Edgar Montague, the spectral voice croaked, sending shivers down Edgar's spine. The curse has awakened. The yuletide bells toll for the souls entwined in its malevolent grasp. Edgar, his voice trembling, questioned the wraith about the origins of the curse that bound the town in perpetual despair. The apparition spoke of a tragic love, betrayal, and an oath sworn on a blood-stained Christmas night centuries past. The bells toll not for celebration, but for the anguish of the forsaken, the ghostly figure intoned. Break the curse, Edgar Montague, or be condemned to share in the eternal lament. With those words, the figure dissipated into the ethereal mist, leaving Edgar alone in the oppressive stillness of the belfry. The church bells, now suffused with a mournful resonance, continued to toll, a spectral symphony that echoed through the hollow corridors of time. Driven by an otherworldly compulsion, Edgar descended the tower. A man possessed by a duty thrust upon him by forces beyond mortal comprehension. The townsfolk, their faces etched with dread, watched as he wandered into the snowy night, guided solely by the haunting tolling that resonated in his soul. 
As Edgar navigated the labyrinthine streets, each corner revealed fragments of the town's macabre history, the forlorn lovers, the treacherous betrayal, and the curse that bound them in a perpetual dance of sorrow. The curse, woven into the very fabric of the Yuletide bells, held the town in a grip so profound that even the bravest dared not speak its name. The night unfolded like a fever dream, a tapestry woven with the spectral echoes of a bygone tragedy. In the shadowed square, surrounded by the skeletal trees, Edgar confronted the source of the curse, the blood-stained remnants of an oath sworn beneath the winter moon. With trembling hands, he whispered incantations taught by the ghostly apparition, unraveling the threads of the curse that had ensnared the town for centuries. The spectral mist dissipated, and the tolling of the bells transformed from a mournful dirge to a gentle melody that danced upon the winter wind. As dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, the townsfolk emerged from the shadows, their haunted expressions giving way to a glimmer of hope. The curse had lifted, and the Yuletide bells, once harbingers of despair, now tolled with a newfound serenity. Edgar Montague, his visage marked by the weight of the supernatural ordeal, watched as the townsfolk embraced the dawn of a Christmas day, untouched by the spectral pall that had shrouded the town for centuries. The small, gothic town of shadows and secrets had glimpsed redemption, and the cursed Yuletide bells tolled not for anguish, but for a renewal of hope. As the townspeople rejoiced in the newfound serenity, Edgar Montague, a man forever changed by the spectral encounter, vanished into the winter winds, leaving behind a town that would forever remember the night the Yuletide bells broke their centuries-old silence.